here! Oh, it's so wonderful you've, you've returned to visit me! Oh, oh, welcome to my mausoleum! Oh, how long has it been? Why, we've had two or three presidential elections? At least four seasons of Breaking Bad since we last aired! <laughs> We interrupt this program to bring you a special report. Abraham Zecker Wormstein, known to fans around the globe as the lovable Mr. Wormser on the long-running KZTX-TV program Chester Grimm's Mausoleum, has been found dead in his Berwyn apartment. Authorities have ruled out foul play as Wormstein was a living corpse in excess of 114 years of age and appeared to have succumbed to extensive decomposition. We now return to regular programming and have a great afternoon. Sinus driving you crazy with pressure, congestion, mean sinus headache? Want more than aspirin or cold capsules? Take a U-turn to Sinutab. Extra strength Sinutab with the most sinus headache pain reliever per dose without a prescription. 54% more per tablet than standard sinus remedies. Helps relieve pressure and congestion too. Take a turn to relief. A U-turn to extra strength Sinutab. The number one selling extra strength sinus pain reliever. I'm sorry, friends. In light of the recent announcement of Mr. Wormser's passing, uh, second passing, I find myself without the ability to put on a decent show for you today. <coughs> yes, Omar, you speak volumes, volumes. <coughs> yes, yes. A and we were all set to return to our, our former glory. We have finally cleared the rights to 13 Eyes of Death's Kiss. Oh, it was Mr. Worms' favorite Italian horror film. He had a way of, of picking those little gems, didn't he, Omar? <laughs> well, as Freddie Mercury once said, the show must go on. So, in, in light of that, I present to you proudly for my friend, our friend, the 13 eyes of death's kiss. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a warning. To protect theater owners and the makers of this horror vision film, viewers with nerve or heart conditions are advised to cover their eyes and ears whenever this object appears on the screen or whenever this sound is heard. Thank you. Take out my emotions on you. No. We, we 
just all need time to grieve and, and to adjust at the situation at hand. In the meantime, uh, run another one. One with plenty of uh, blood, guts, and bone. <laughs> uh, run this is Hormel, would you? Introducing Brad and Greg, sons of Dale Rugg, a typical Minnesota farmer. Minnesota annually ships large quantities of meat and other agricultural products to consumers throughout the United States and in foreign countries. Gee whiz, look at all them hormone cars. Yeah, wonder what's in them and where they're going. Hey, I know what. Let's write a letter and ask if we can visit the plant. Dad will take us, I bet. Adventurous boys, curiosity and dreams all lead to something very special that Dad would enjoy too. Gentlemen, we would sure like to visit your plant. My dad said he would come with us if you would let us take a tour. Please let us know. Yours truly, Greg and Brad Rugg. It's fun to write a letter and look forward to a reply. In Austin, the secretary to the public relations director receives daily inquiries concerning plant tours, job opportunities, and information about the company. The Brad and Greg letter receives prompt attention. The Austin plant receptionist registers all visitors and makes special arrangements when boys like Brad and Greg write in. Regular tours are scheduled daily Monday through Friday at 10 a.m. and 1 p.m. Has the anxiously awaited letter arrived today? Yes, there it is, addressed to Brad and Greg. Dear boys, we are pleased to inform you that arrangements have been made for you to take a tour of the Hormel plant. The rug dairy herd of fine Holstein cows watch as Dad and the boys load up for the trip to the plant. A new awareness of meat processing is gained from the plant tours. They are exciting and educational, as you will see. Across the Red Cedar River, the rugs see this view. This is Hormel. The original plant of Hormel began on this site in 1891, and today is the largest of nine company slaughtering operations. Tours are available at the Austin, Fort Dodge, Iowa, and Fremont, Nebraska locations. As the Rugg family registers, Hormel guide Tony Corina arrives to show them through the plant. Hormel has 15 processing plants, six distribution centers, and licensing arrangements for the manufacture of special products in Canada, Ireland, England, and Venezuela. One of the initial sites on tour is the old engine first used by George A. Hormel in 1892. A display of popular Hormel products. More than 750 different items are produced here, some of which are Spam, Cure 81 Ham, Hormel Chili, Dinty Moore Beef Stew, Range Brand Bacon, and Dry Sausage. From balconies, you can look across entire rooms of assembly, or rather, disassembly activity. The rug boys watch as hog carcasses are broken down into primal cuts.
After chilling, the carcass passes over a firmly anchored knife which separates the two sides. This is the first step in the disassembly of the pork side. This large saw wheel then cuts the shoulder from the side. So much automation enters the industrial picture today that it is not surprising to see the start of meat processing begin in this fashion. Let's watch the development of the ham, one of the first meat cuts to receive attention. Painstaking care is given to ensure uniform removal of skin and fat. A close inspection of the ham follows. The hams slide down a chute to the floor below, where they are fed onto the automatic scaling line. Each bin holds a given weight ham. The pans are individual scales that automatically drop the weighed ham into the correct bin. Skillfully removing the bone of hams before processing the famous Hormel Cure 81 ham, canned ham, cooked ham, or ingredient meat for spam. Very choice hams are saved for the production of the Cure 81s. Precise trimming of external and internal fat takes place. Smoking of the Cure 81 hams is also done with care. Appealing color and unmatched flavor is developed in the smoking process. Here's what the finished product looks like inside, the real test of quality. Back to the pork cut, the story of bacon. First, spare ribs are removed. Bacon comes from the side meat next to the ribs. Well, watching that kind of made me feel a little bit invigorated. <laughs> oh, oh, did you see those pig sides? <laughs> Sliding across that firmly anchored knife and being sliced by those automated saw wheels? <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> and how about that rug boy, <laughs> the one with the cap? He kind of reminds me of Mr. Bo Mr. Bo <gasps> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry to break down on you again. <laughs> Let's take a break, and we'll return with more. This is Hormel. <laughs> Hey, good Americans, it's October, and you know what that means. Pretty soon, all the little ghosties and goblins will be coming round the mountain to scream out trick or treat. And you know what else it means? Yes, sirree, Bob Saget. Red Marmoset Wine and Spirits is having a grand opening celebration at our new location. While it was difficult to leave behind the warm surroundings of our original building, the soul-crushing overhead, and the overabundance of skeevy crack whores and day laborers huffing metallic spray paint out of paper sacks on our doorstep, pretty much made the decision for us. Right now, through the end of the month, we will be blowing the competition away. We will not be undersold. We will do anything and everything to make you say to yourself, Dear God, why haven't I been spending my hard-earned money at Red Marmoset Wine and Spirits? I've been such a fool. And with a resounding yes, we will agree. Red Marmoset Wine and Spirits has it all. You know the drill, beer, wine, whiskey, tequila, vodka, gin, and due to recent FDA ruling on the amount of wormwood one can distill into an alcoholic beverage, we are once again the Tri-County's foremost supplier for Aunt Hannah's absinthe. That's right, I said absinthe. My gift is my song, and this one's for you. Bring a tote sack, a basket, a box, or a bucket. If Red Marmoset can't fill them up, I say, fundamentally speaking, we can. Take the Pinson Road exit off of 16th, just south of the men's warehouse, and go two blocks east on Lincoln. Look for the sign that says rib tips, then make a Huey when you see that impressive graffiti painting of Raw Julia. Or, if you have GPS, just ask for directions to value. Red Marmoset Wine and Spirits, 
We've been here since you were all babies, and we intend to outlive every single one of you. Come on down and make us your new destination for fun. God bless America. Say habla espanol. In meat processing, we strive to make good use of everything. Side skins, for example, are sold for leather. The initial step is the removal of the skin from the bacon side. The skins are dropped to the fleshing machine, which in turn takes off all excess fat. The bacon sides are mechanically trimmed as they move along the production line. Skilled craftsmen at this point trim bacon sides to proper size and shape. The meat trimmings are saved for other products. Once again, automation. Here we see a curing solution being injected by needles into the bacon sides. Nothing in bacon processing is more eye-appealing or mouth-watering than a view of bacon as it emerges from the stainless steel smoke chambers. A beautiful sight, isn't it? After it comes out of the smokehouse, the bacon is chilled and then formed into just the right shape so that the slices come out nice and even, the way you see them in your store. A high-speed circular knife cleanly slices the bacon to uniform thickness, about 20 slices per second. After exact portions of bacon slices are hand-scaled, a special saran wrap machine vacuum seals the packages for longer keeping and better appearance. Hormel bacon stays fresh longer when saran wrapped. The attractive packages are now ready to appear in retail counters across the country for selection by discriminating consumers. Welcome back. <laughs> If you're late joining us tonight, we've been watching This is Hormel, a wonderful look back at how meat used to be processed and turned into canned edibles. Also, uh, Mr. Wormser is dead, and by dead I mean deceased, uh, permanently this time. <laughs> what? What's this? What is this nonsense? What is this? What's going on here? What is this nonsense? What in the world? Hello, hello! Whoa! <laughs> Nibsy! Nibsy the Christmas Mouse! What? Aren't you dead too? I mean, didn't you explode? Oh yeah, I got blown up down there. Shot into the Phantom Zone. But it's not the first time I've escaped death, and it won't be the last, especially with you pulling your strings around here, you old rotter. You mean, Nibsy, that you hold the secret of life after death? Well, if so, perhaps you can help me. Help you? Ha! Why the bloody hell would I help you? Oh, wait, it's because of worms there, isn't it? Running around here, nesting in the garbage. I do seem to remember hearing about him being dead. Ah, uh, what a shame. I can't like you, smelly old Tulsa. Well, Nibsy, Nibsy. If you will help me bring Mr. Wemser back, I promise to give you a free pass for life. N no more dirty tricks. I promise. I promise. Well... Then now, please, oh, please, please, consider it, Nipsey. I mean, it, it wasn't me who blew you up last time. No, no, but you did kill me once. And cook me. Mm -hmm. And ate me. <laughs> <laughs> Even gained some of that nutter you keep around here. Nothing. Oh, oh, uh, you mean Omar? There he is! I knew I'd smelt maggots and dirty knickers. You keep that wall I don't back at 30 paces, Grim. Uh, you do that, and I might just help you get your old bloke ones a bit. Oh, yes. Well, exactly what do you propose, uh, Nibsy? Well, we, we need his head. His head? 
Well, yeah, of course, in order to save him, we got to save his brain. His brain? Oh, yes! <laughs> it all makes sense to me now. <laughs> well, I'm glad it makes sense to one of us. <laughs> Omar! Omar, old chap! <laughs> Get your policeman's uniform out of the broom closet and fire up the hearse. We're going to save Mr. Wormser. <laughs> oh, don't worry, old man. I'll pay you in steam and clay money. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We'll have to return to This Is Hormel at another time. The game is afoot. <laughs> We're going to retrieve Mr. Wormser's head and bring him back to life. We're about to embark on a truly excellent adventure. <laughs> oh, I never felt such exhilaration. <laughs> oh, no. Here we go again. Again. <laughs> Stay tuned, my friends. Big things have small beginnings. <laughs> <laughs>